Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead 400 Days. Last time we were on the prison bus, some shit went down, zombies everywhere, gotta escape. Vince, shoot those crazy fucks. Okay. Do you say so? Not very effective. I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. And do what exactly? Shoot him again, man! No. Hmm. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. You just saw me do that. What about the cup? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's Well, gun? what do you think is gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Bitch, give me the gun. We gotta do this. Back off. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? What? Oh my whoa, god. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I know you're a good guy. Oh man. Do me and not this rapist fuck? Ah, <laughs> I you don't. Know I'm a good guy, man. Gonna have to do it. He's probably gonna blow off his foot. No, 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 you can't. Vince, oh dear. Oh dear. Really? I have to do this? Uh, sorry, buddy. Oh god, that didn't seem like it did anything. Ah! Oh, oh my god! Ah! No! Already having to make terrible decisions. That's it. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do this for almost everyone here. I bet. So I guess in season two, I'll be with the rapist or well, accused rapist. I don't think he did it. He seems like a nice guy, which is why I saved him. Uh, who seems interesting? Let's go with Shell. Hopefully it's not this terrifying cake woman. Wait. Seems a little uh, repetitive. 236 days in. Dang. Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. I've already forgotten the daughter's name. Becca, that was great. Becca, okay. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this oh, every week? Your sisters? Uh, sounds like a great idea. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. 
No way, man. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. I'm not gonna be a reckless older sister. Jesus. Giving her guns? Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. So, I'm Shell. Little sister's Becca. Is that Steph? I think it's Steph. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Let's see. Six guns? It didn't show ammo, though. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Now once I see she's... What? Blah. Check on these flashlights first. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Suspicious. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Let's try and keep track of the days each of these uh, different people are in. Uh, so we had Vince, who was two days in, I believe. And then we have her, 236 days-ish, something along those lines. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Can't go this way, huh? Okay. So I gotta see Roman in the back. So how do I get... Here we go. Roman. Cousin. Ooh, let's take a look at this. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Oh, I got a bad feeling. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Ugh, why do they call it so dar? Ooh. Smells good. Let's eat all of it. <laughs> Cause I'm evil. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs too. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. What's Roman inspecting again? I don't remember. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Wouldn't want to run out of mustard and bananas. Banana flavored drink. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. <gasps> oh! Why did that scare me? You scared me. Oh. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Oh, I got a little pet. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eat? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. What exactly do we have them eating? Because it looks like intestines, but why would we do that? Find a use for them? I guess they're, if they're eating trash or human waste or something. But as far as I know, zombies don't eat crap. Okay. Let's go look at this one. Oh, it's gonna be something crazy. It's gonna be something sur uh, surprising, shocking, revealing. Oh, God. <sighs> what is it? Oh, oh, it's a grandma. Okay. Let's stay away from zombie grandma and. What else is there to do back here? I wonder if all of these characters are going to be in Season 2. It's going to be interesting. In that case, I'm going to be so happy I play this. Because in some description I read, it said, The choices in Season... I guess... Choices in both of these would make it into Season 2. Oh! Oh, hell no. Oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. 
You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Roman! Come here, everyone. Shit, come on, we gotta find Roman. This month, it's okay to be dead. Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time, we couldn't catch them, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. That's racist. Hmm. We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost three. Uh -huh. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. I was right there with you when we jumped that woman and her boyfriend for their boat. That was wrong. <gasps> That's when our group fell apart. It's the old people. He can't stay here. They stole. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. They're the people who stole our freaking boat in the we first know game. What we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. We need to protect ourselves first. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Well, guys, I'm gonna stop it there because we're out of time. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next episode to see what I do. Thanks for watching. And bye!